joining me to look at the significance of the day, the World Sickle Cell Day, is Dr. Philip Oragui. He's the Chief Executive Officer, Dove Hospital here in Lagos. Uh, glad to have you, Dr. Philip. Thank you for having me. All right, let's, let's quickly look at the significance of having a day set aside, you know, to observe World Sickle Cell Day. What, what import does that bring to the whole, you know, disorder? It's quite important because um, it's a day created by the World Health Organization to raise awareness, um, informing the people, the populace, about the prevalence of this disease and the fact that it's a preventable problem that can be prevented by information and by choosing the right partner to get married. So even, when, even if we are careers, we can make changes by choosing a different pers person rather than the person we think um, we like. That's the, that's the whole um, idea of making Which a sickle awareness. cell uh, the so, day. So let's, let's, let's look at Nigeria and Africa. Do you think, you know, particularly in Nigeria, do you think the, the right amount of awareness has been created around the disorder? No, I do not think so. I think um, we're not doing enough. And that's why um, so many people have come into the spectrum to take advantage of the poor awareness. And you have the religious different religious organizations um, theorizing about um, the origin of a uh, sickle cell um, problem. You have the traditional religion. Uh, for instance, I'm an Igbo person. Uh, we call it Obanje in my tradition. In my tradition. And they, they theorize a lot about um, one issue or the other around it, which uh, scientifically are, are, you know they are wrong. But um, I think Nigerian state has to do more. The Federal Ministry of Health, the National Health Insurance Scheme, and the, the health maintenance organizations need uh, to do a lot. And also the doctors and the nurses who are practicing the field need to do a lot more to let the people know that this is a genetic disease that is inherited and can be prevented by info, making information available to people early enough. Can be managed but cannot be cured. Yes, it can be managed, but it can really, it can really not be cured. It can actually be cured uh, recently um, because of uh, Nigeria has a, a center of excellence in um, management of. Uh, um, sickle cell anemia, and that's the um, University of Benin Teaching Hospital, where you can do bone marrow transplant. Uh, I, I don't think a lot of Nigerians are aware, aware of, of that. that. They are not aware of that, but you can actually cure a person, so to say, quote and unquote, because you have m removed the, the bone marrow that produces this sickle cell uh, blood and replace it with a normal bone marrow that produces a different sickle cell blood, and then what you have in effect, effectively is a, a, a S, okay. which is a career, but living a normal life. But the problem is that Nigerians are not, are not yet aware of this. And part of the poor awareness is, be, uh, is because people are not being told. Secondly, the cost. Um, I'm aware that there's somebody that I'm, I'm, I'm preparing to go to um, UBTH. But when I was told the cost, I, uh, I'm almost chickening out. All right, let, let's look at the prevalence of you know, uh, sickle cell in sub-Saharan Africa. The percentage is quite high, 75%. Why so? Uh, that's not really true. If 75% of Nigerians, of uh, sub-Saharan African people have uh, a sickle cell... No, comparatively, that the data, comparative data. Yeah, okay, okay. If you talk of comparative data, yes, it's actually an African thing. And uh, most importantly, the sub-Saharan Africa. That's where you have the hollow endemicity of malaria. If you look at uh, the, etiology, the etiology of uh, sickle cell disease, you know it's the response to malaria. The, 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 say the West African person or the African person, uh, as it were, uh, the gene is trying to find a way to evade the endemicity of malaria, okay. and then during the there was a mutation to create a resistant a, a person that is resistant to malaria, and the target 
uh, gene is to create an AS. Okay. And the average AS person is more, far more resistant than AA person. But you have a fallout, which is the ASS and the SC, which became the fallout of that attempt at mutating the gene to become more resistant. And, become and they, this cell. fallout are the more are the people who are now the victims of that uh, en endeavor. Doctor, I would, would have, I would have loved to continue this discussion because there's so much, there are so many areas to touch on this, but we are actually running out of time. Thank you so much for finding time to join us. Thank you.